It's time for Megan Gets Booked, where we check out books from local authors in ENC to New York Times bestsellers and everything in between. Joining us today is author of Surf the Seesaw, Scott Davis. Thank you so much for being with us today. Oh, well, thanks, Megan. I'm glad to be here. So your book is about the insights you gained by trading in your corporate suit for a sailing vagabond's life. Why did you leave the corporate America life? <laughs> Well, you know, I was very fortunate earlier in life. Uh, in my 20s, some very powerful guys uh, plucked me up and set me on a career that let me do some amazing things very, very early. So by the time I was 40, I could see where that was headed. So I just sold everything, gave everything away, bought an old sailboat and took off to live in the simpler world of the islands. Wow, that is incredible. So speaking of, you know, selling everything, and having a simpler life. What is this book about? <laughs> well, the book is about human nature. It's about relationships, decision making. It's about the meaning of life. It's just basically a collection of stories of interesting experiences that I had in my life and things that I think that those stories reveal about the nature of life. So, I mean, a good example would be that control is an illusion. This is a recurring theme. And I mean, every sailor realizes that control is an illusion. As soon as you go out on the ocean, you realize that the best that you can do is pay attention, be skilled and adapt to the circumstances. So I'd say that that's the kind of a theme that you'd see in the book recurring um, is taking an experience from sailing caught in a storm or needing some help from someone and translating that into an observation about life. And what do you think is the most surprising thing about your book that readers are gonna discover? Well, most self-help books are pretty preachy. Um, they have a definitive set of prescriptions that they want you to follow, and this is not that at all. Um, I think one of the pieces of feedback that I've gotten about the book is that it's a bit like a mid-80s U2 song. Everyone who listens to it hears something a little bit different. You titled it Surf the Seesaw. What does right. that mean? <laughs> Well, you can remember back to the playground when you were a kid um, mm -hmm. and there was a seesaw or a teeter-totter, some people call it that. Well, my favorite thing to do on a teeter-totter was instead of sitting in one of the seats was to stand over the fulcrum and actively keep the seats in the air. Balance for a kid is active. But for some reason, as adults, we gravitate to this idea of balance as a static equilibrium. And so what I wanted to do was just bring back this theme of balance in life, balance uh, politically, balance in family, balance in work, balance in your health, balance in everything is really a dynamic situation. It's never putting cinder blocks under the seats of the seesaw. It's always active, sometimes a little bit more this way, sometimes a little bit more that way. And every sailor recognizes that, like balance in a boat is this pulsing, active, adaptive situation where sometimes the waves push us one way, Sometimes the wind pushes us another way, and we just adapt to that. So really, that's why I named it Surf the Seesaw. Standing on top of the seesaw, surfing the seesaw is a great metaphor for how you maintain balance in life. Where can people go to find out more about your book or to go and purchase your book? Well, you can buy the book in paperback or e-back on Amazon, of course, <laughs> but you can also learn about the book at the book's website. It's surftheseesaw.com. That's surf-the-seesaw.com. Perfect. Well, Scott, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, it was fun. Thank you. And y'all, make sure to come back to Megan Gets Booked on Hello ENC every week to discover a new page to turn.